bag removal uh, uh, recently, uh, and uh, it's gone. Here's a case of nature has given us this dead tree right here, and I think this scene is a little bit nicer without that dead tree, so we just go and cut that tree down and remove it. And here's a case where we're looking at Alcatraz, but this boat and that boat are probably unnecessary. And uh, a couple of simple cuts, and those, uh, they're gone. So, um, and, and just, just technique-wise, if you're playing with this particular tool, you'll find that there are certain things that are, are um, rather straightforward, and so other things you have to think about a little bit. Uh, in this particular case, I actually masked out this part of the boat first, took the mask out, did a horizontal cut, which uh, pushed the island in a little bit closer. You can see that this little plateau here is different here because it had to be redrawn. Uh, and then uh, the second thing I did was to do a lateral cut through here, to, uh, or sorry, a, a, a vertical compress. I, I drew across it horizontally to, uh, to identify these boats as things to be removed, uh, and it got rid of them. So a uh, fairly powerful tool, fairly interesting uh, to be able to, to use uh, on uh, various photos. Uh, again, it's, it's kind of low-level magic that it's able to uh, take things like water and sky and uh, certain areas of land and redraw them. Uh, so that to, and obviously uh, asphalt under, underneath the bag that we removed um, to make it look like that never existed. Uh, very interesting to see that. Uh, how that works, uh, but again, there are certain areas where uh, you know if if you're if you're cutting from major d detail differences, it it won't be the best tool for you. But um, you know a lot of examples that I've worked with with it, um, uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's very 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 interesting. So um, that's a quick view of the the basic uh, the, the kind of the two biggest new tools inside of the application. We've also added a vibrancy tool, uh, which uh, allows uh, you to uh, uh, play with. Uh, some saturation in, in a different way. Uh, in theory, it's, it, uh, it, uh, it tries to protect from oversaturation of areas that are already well saturated in an object. Uh, you can play with that to see, see if that helps. I've had good experience with that in, in some fall co color settings where um, there are areas of a photo that might be a little drab and you might want to uh, pump it up a little bit. So vibrancy is a cool thing to look at. Um, of course, for, for those of you that are uh, uh, familiar with the X2 and X2.5, you know that we've got uh, great tools uh, available for things like uh, uh, HDR of photo merge. Uh, we've actually gone uh, and, and enhanced that tool a bit uh, during this particular iteration to support uh, raw files better uh, than it than it did in the past. Uh, so uh, I don't happen to have a bunch of those in front of me here, but let me just uh, give a quick example. Uh, photo merge is uh, great for taking photos with. Uh, uh, auto exposure bracketing right out of your camera. Take it, uh, set it up so that you're doing a, a, a minus two and plus two and a zero EV, and uh, go ahead and, and take those photos and bring them in. Here's a, a sunrise shot over the hill, uh, a couple of nice trees, a little fog rolling over the hill at the same time, uh, and let me just do a suggest settings. Uh, you see, you can see that the the detail is much fuller in this particular case. You can actually see that there's detail below as as well. Uh, and I, I love local tone mapping, and I always uh, push local tone mapping up uh, up higher on the spectrum to to get a, a better um, better feel for uh, the textures inside of the image. Blew it out a little bit there on the on the actual sun, but. Uh, very, very uh, interesting, fun area to play with, and uh, very much on the cutting edge of of, uh, of the types of things that you can do in photography. So it's a, a lot of fun to see that. And again, it's been enhanced this time for uh, better black levels on um, 
on raw. So uh, if you've got uh, uh, things at uh, minus two EV or minus four EV, it actually works a lot, a lot better than it than it has in the past. So that's the main application. And again, uh, uh, all of the things that we've had in X2 as far as um, uh, you know, layer support, all of the types of image adjustment and effect support that we've had in the past are, are all here. Um, you'll see that the workflows have changed slightly, again, based on, uh, on, on feedback on how to make it better and uh, how to make it faster. And so those, those are some, some of the subtleties that you will um, uh, see as you're utilizing the program. Uh, one other area I want to show you briefly, and let me just get this launched up and switch over to it. Uh, is what we call our project creator. Now the project creator uh, allows us to, uh, uh, you know, it's the and then what part of the exercise. So once I've taken my photos, once I've edited my photos, once I've uh, adjusted them, uh, whatever it is I want to do with them, uh, what am I going to do with them? So I'm going to actually, if I'm posting them to Flickr or Facebook, I can just go ahead and do that. Uh, I also have in here the ability to do photo books, cars, collages, and calendars. Uh, these are, are uh, both printable on my home printer as well as I can send them off for professional printing. I get those back. The photo books are quite awesome in that regard. A nice little coffee table book of the of the family and um, and the other calendar is great for sharing your photos as well. I, I love doing that with uh, friends and family, taking uh, taking photos and you know seeing them up on the wall up at, uh, at their houses uh, or whatever. So those are those are great. Uh, we also have the ability to create slideshows. Now I, I bring a, I talk about slideshows not only because uh, you know sharing photo videos with your friends. Uh, uh, is is nice. Uh, that's that's a it's a great thing to take a a whole folder of uh, of your photos and make them into a little video slideshow and uh, and then post them to YouTube or or share them with your friends in other ways. Um, but the other thing that's interesting here is that so many of the new cameras uh, DSLRs are coming out with the ability to shoot HD video and we have an HD form factor in the slideshow. We allow you to take your HD um, uh, video and bring it into our slideshow and drop it right in there with your photos as well. Um, it's it, it it's a it gives you a a, a way of creatively um, uh, sharing uh, sharing that video um, in, in uh, with your friends again and 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 through posting of it. So just a, a very simple addition to the program. Just a light hook into it um, for clarity. It's not a video editor. It, it's really a place for you to start with it. Today we also are announcing a, a new version of our Video Studio Pro uh, product, the X3 version of it as well. Uh, and it's a full-blown video editor. So for the person who really is using taking the advantage of the DSLR with the uh, great optics, great uh, low light capabilities, great firm frame rights, to, you know, solid 1080p, all of those other HD things and uh, sensor and optics things that you have advantage uh, advantages with in the DSLR. Um, we've got those. Uh, we, su we support those in a light way here uh, for somebody who really wants to get into the editing, and really wants to get into the video production side. That's that's where you need a real video editor. So I just want to make sure that that's clear here. And this is really a starting point for video, uh, which leads then into um, the the other um, other type of application for real video editing. A couple other things to point out here: we have an order online. If you simply want to order photos, uh, get them uh, professionally printed and sent to your house, um, that's what we have here. Uh, and then we also have a backup disk. Uh, backup is one of the areas that is just so um, so underutilized. Uh, there, the, the issue is that um, you know years of family memories, years of your favorite photos can go away uh, with a single hard disk crash. And um, you know this is just a, a quick way of of uh, you know throw a CD or a DVD into your drive uh, and then cut a bunch of your folders to it and just you know very simple, very clean sort of backup. Uh, but one of the neat advantages here is if you happen to have a BD data burner uh, well, available to you, and again, many of the, the machines um, have that now as an option, and/or uh, 
you know, soon will have it as an option. Uh, we will actually support that as well, allow you to, to uh, um, take your uh, take your photos and burn them to that particular format. So let me just quickly go down what I think we've just talked about. Uh, we've talked about the organization. We've talked about the, uh, uh, the, the, the workflow, the idea that the enthusiast has now evolved to a point where they need the, uh, the ability to, to really work in a, a more of a digital workflow environment. Uh, 